Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner. Now, I promised you guys uh, some Chevrolet CK1500 action today and I will deliver. Um, what will change though is I'll actually show you guys the route there as well. Uh, because of a very simple reason. I realized uh, that we need one metal beam for this uh, here. We already have, have the bricks in this uh, scout flatbed here, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Um, but we need the scout to do that, as well as to do all these um, uh, points here for local recreation, which is one of the quests. Um, but what's important is that we can get the metal pipes from the warehouse, metal beams, I keep, calling, keep calling them pipes, I don't know why. We can get the metal beams from the warehouse. They are times two, so uh, they require two slots. Now, what I just realized, and I'm going to show you guys right now. Oh, yeah, as a side note, on the Chevrolet, we actually put the top rack with uh, extra fuel because the new engine uses a lot of fuel. It will probably make it more top heavy, but ugh, I'd rather have the fuel. Uh, in any case, what I did realize is that in the trailer store, we now have a scout flatbed which is a two slot flatbed that goes on a small truck so with this we can totally carry some uh, metal beams uh, one but that's enough so we don't have to do multiple routes uh, all the way to the factory there so we'll buy this one it's a good thing we went ahead and sold all of those uh, useless uh, uh, trailers around the map not all of them but you know a good deal of them I've sold another one uh, in between episodes Now, I'm not really super sure that we'll have the power required to actually pull this, <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, this is literally one of my smallest trucks, even though it has good tires and well, the best engine it can get. Um, I'm cautious. Uh, this would be the first time actually hauling cargo with this car, and I really hope that this will not be a bust. You know, me trying to do too much in one go. I mean, I guess that's the general story of this. Man, I'm not gonna go do two things, two routes. Might as well just do it once. Just go a single route and get everything I need. You know, like like shopping, right? You, you never do two trips shopping, right? You just do it and do it in one turn and get everything. Okay, so let's be very careful here. It's rolled. Oh god, it's already. It got stuck, it got stuck. Let's not get that stuck because if that gets stuck, that makes our job a lot harder. And I'm not really making it any better, am I? Okay, there we go, unstuck. But that, for the first time, we'll actually have to use the left side here. Oh, and the left side is a horrible side because we have no anchor points. This isn't really gripping the mud as much as I would want to. Let's stick to a low gear. I mean, we are 10 liters out and we barely left the, uh, the garage. Ish. I'm not entirely sure if we still have the fuel trailer there that we delivered last time because we can totally refuel at that fuel trailer if uh, if it's needed. Okay, let's use a high-low range because we can totally use a bit more speed here. And, you know, in full respect, I understand why we have like high-low ranges and low-low ranges. I mean, because sometimes you just want to keep that inertia going, even on the low range, so you don't get uh, stuck it's a mix of you needing just enough inertia and just enough um, actual speed. Sorry, uh, traction. Okay, either way, it's fine to switch back to auto now. This is pretty solid ground. This will be interesting. The thing is, I, I didn't 
really imagine you have like a two slot trailer for the small trucks just because um, I haven't seen any on the map oh are we stuck I guess we're stuck so I just thought you know it's not a thing but I had to look through the tra trailer store because I was gonna be doing something with this and apparently it's a totally a thing Not sure how much of a smart thing it is, though. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a reason you have uh, the basic two slot on the bigger trucks. This might just be an overextension that we may not want to afford. I mean, we're definitely having a tr some trouble here. And I'm avoiding using the all-wheel drive too much because that's a lot of... Uh, That's a lot of fuel usage, that's like 10 liters a minute, and we don't really have 240 liters capacity like we usually do on uh, the bigger trucks. That's why I even took the, um, the top side, even if it uh, maybe cause us to be slightly too um, top heavy. I'm gonna try sticking without the all-wheel drive for as much as we can. I mean, with the suspension and with the engine and with the upgrades, uh, this is a pretty formidable little scout truck. That's why I didn't even keep the scout 400. There is a, a pickup, I mean, a bed in the bed. Oh, I wish it could make sense. <laughs> there is a bed mounted uh, repair and supply option for this truck. I mean, that doesn't put it on top of the truck, it's the cheapest one. However, the problem with that is that um, it doesn't contain fuel, just repair. So, this is the cheapest uh, accessory you can get on this car that actually provides you with. Uh, uh, fuel. I guess usually you'd have like a fuel truck kit with you, but we don't really have that uh, luxury here. Uh, no, not bricks. We don't want bricks. We want metal beams. There we go. Now, can we even move? That's the question. Oh, well, we can. That's not exactly saying much, but we can. Let's uh, let's set the route down. Let's avoid all the bad spots as much as we can. I'm thinking maybe we'll we'll actually take this road. I don't think I we can afford to try this mucky road here. And I really, I mean, I don't know. The thing is, if we do get stuck. There's a lot of trees, so I mean, it's not like we'll, we will uh, have any issues getting through. That will cut a lot of time out of our trip instead of just literally going all of this route. Even if we want to, we'll still have to cross this, which, while not terrible, it's still not the best uh, uh, road that we may want to do with um, this truck, especially given the fuel constraints. I mean, we want to waste as little fuel as possible, not as much as possible. Is there possible we may be able to refuel at the refinery again? With the trailer that we delivered there last time, but I'm not sure if it's still there because those mission trailers go away. Eventually. Okay, 
let's let's try let's try a low range. Maybe a high low range helps instead of using the all wheel drive. Nah, for sure not. Oh wow, are we actually stuck? Well, we were for a second there. I really kind of feel that if we're gonna be going this slow, might as well use the high low range. actually slower so we still have uh, some speed available in uh, using the first auto range auto gear and we're almost reaching five liters a minute I think it may actually be uh, I was thinking maybe it's a fuel saving measure if we were to do this with um, all-wheel drive just to get through this faster I mean it's better to go through this twice as fast with 10 liters a minute than go through it uh, on you know one times 100% fast uh, but using 8 liters a minute okay so we're just following this Oh, no, we should have taken a left here. Well, we don't specifically need to. Oh, yeah, we can. We have to because this is a horribly mucky... Okay, so let's... Yeah, reversing isn't the smartest thing we can do here. I mean, and this is not how you turn a trailer either. All this while using oh, actually it's five liters a minute on the reverse with all-wheel drive but that's not too bad yeah -ish. okay then it's winch time uh, let's oh 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 we have no forward winch mounts on this I thought we had like two winch mounts here at the front, but apparently we don't. Winch anchor points. Okay, let's stop this for a second. I think we should have enough. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's winch the back of the trailer. That seems wiser. And actually, let's use the high-low range for this as much as I wouldn't want to. And all-wheel drive it, and let's winch pull it. It gets a bit crowded on the keyboard, to be fair, after a while. Uh, because literally, you'll, you'll be using pushing down on the winch, then you'll be using acceleration, then you'll be using uh, shift to switch to another gear. That's like four or five keys pressed at the same time. Let's winch the car. <sighs> let's take out the parking brake and let's see if we can. Yeah. Okay, this is working. But that's not exactly saying much. Parking brake, release winch. Let's again pull the back and let's pull that. That should be a safer bet. I wonder if I should switch to auto to do the low gear. Should we risk it? Yeah, let's risk it. Uh, that tree is already down, so let's use a different tree. Uh, yeah, okay, that, this is at the very least accessible. Wheel drive, please. That's why we bought it. Thankfully, this is all we'll need to do uphill, mucky, muddy terrain. 
After this, we should be going downhill, so it'll be fine. Let's winch our souls as much as possible. Is it wise to turn off all-wheel drive? Ah, I guess it is. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm not exactly sure we'll have enough fuel. I, uh, the extra fuel we have is not the whole fuel tank, it's not 80 liters, it's uh, 40. Actually, maybe let's do this, let's refuel now. Okay, let's refuel now. That emptied the top one. Maybe... Oh, wow! <gasps> That's fantastic! Well, the moment you actually refuel, uh, the cans go away. Oh, can I? That, that was not what was going... I was thinking maybe if I can uh, remove the thing as well. I, I want the car to be less... Uh, sorry, less top-heavy. And I was actually thinking earlier, maybe... Um, maybe, just maybe, uh, removing the, that fuel and putting it... Um, you know, in the car instead of keeping it on, on top of the truck would uh, help me a lot in terms of keeping the car stable in the future things we need to do uh, regarding the climbing rocks and stuff uh, okay but this is getting messy past all my talks this is getting relatively messy so let's release that winch let's winch ahead let's release it let's just get out of this area Save fuel. I I really want to use this. Let's try removing the all-wheel drive because really at this point the winch is doing all the heavy lifting and not the car. Okay, let's reduce the winch because we're already past the point where it's helpful. It's all-wheel drive as well. Slowly and surely pull this through. Ugh, on the wrong side. Okay, let's not use all-wheel drive, let's keep winching. Again, we just have to get past this hump here, and I think we'll be fine. And I don't know what, what are we getting stuck in? I'm sure we're getting stuck in like some dead trees and stuff. Release the winch, let's... Straighten out the car. You know how I said we're going to be saving time at the beginning of this episode? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> that's entirely not happening. <sighs> okay, let's, 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 let's have any good spots here? No, we don't. We have some good spots on this side. Let's keep pulling this trailer with us. But again, man, it's... What, what? What's actually happening down here? Usually I hate to do this, but let's do it. Uh, map. Time skip, time skip. That should give us in the day times, so just so we can see what the hell are we getting stuck on. Okay, let's release the winch. Let's straighten out the truck. That's what we care about. Straightening out the truck. Oh wow. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, wow. This is... My car is literally not even... <laughs> it's getting used as part of the winch to pull that. Wow. Oh wow, that's so deep in the mud. My god. Um... Okay, do we actually have a bigger problem than I thought we did? We have no anchor spots for that. 
on this side. We have some anchor spots on this side, so let's keep using this. Oh, what, 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 what's happening? Do we have something terribly under between the wheels here? I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah, okay, 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 no. This, let's turn off the engine, save some fuel, because literally this is our last 37 liters, and we do have the autonomous uh, winch, so we don't need the fuel for it. Exactly start that, but oh no 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 uh crap oh crap 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 Okay, um, I have zero idea what this was stuck on. Probably some of these twigs and branches here. I'm not sure we can salvage this in any way, shape, or form. Oh, oh, oh wow, oh wow, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a clutch save. And that actually freed it. I don't know what was going on there, but man... Actually, you know what? Let's let's stop the engine. Let's stop the engine. We don't need the engine. Let's turn off all-wheel drive. And let's uh, winch ourselves slowly. Oh. Winch ourselves to safety yep it doesn't have the power the enormous winch just does not have the power to actually pull us so actually you have to use the car okay let's raise the winch let's oh my this was entirely terrible but that was such a clutch save thank god for the invisible monkeys that pack our cargo back on the on the ramp. I was really imagining having to come back here annoyed with um, <laughs> with a uh, with a crane. was an adventure. <laughs> okay, wow, 12 liters a minute. My god. This, yeah, because I had all-wheel drive active. And we're not there yet. We have 20 liters left, and we are not there yet. And this got stuck on something again, didn't it? Yes, it did. 16 liters, oh my god. Okay, 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 let's burst this a bit, see if we can at the very least get on the road once we're on the safe road. We should be able to turn off all-wheel drive, get back to some decent fuel consumption. Oh, and hopefully that's enough so I can, we can actually deliver this, because 14 liters isn't really enough 
I'm not even sure if uh, the game uh, has like emergency uh, fuel. Like all cars have like this emergency fuel in case you run out. Which is, uh, depends on the car, but it's a fair bit of liters, not a lot, but it's enough. Okay, 11 liters. Man, I need to use all my hypermiling uh, knowledge right now. Not that we have anything to hypermile behind. And if I have to use the all wheel drive for anything. Uh, okay, no, let's let's do it. Let's burst through this. Let's at least reach that other end here where it's solid ground. Eight liters. Technically, we could do it with the winch because the winch, uh, autonomous winch, is uh, battery powered, but. Wow, that would be insane. Seven liters. Six liters. Oh wow, this will be close. I mean, at this point, I'm not even thinking about... Uh, uh, doing the other part of this. Five liters. What I wanted to do today in this episode and just rock climb. But oh my god, we, we reached a point, we reached it. We're fine, we're at the factory. Four liters. Okay, come on, three liters. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Three liters. I hope I have to drop it down here because if I have to go back, I don't think I'll have enough fuel. Brake. Cargo management. Oh. oh my god. We did it, guys. We did it. Wow. And. Uh, v. Refuel. We can refuel. We can refuel from the. Oh, no. Actually, we can't. Okay, no, sorry. Source. Heavy fuel tanker, refuel the roof rank. And uh, from the heavy fuel tank, tanker, refuel the Chevrolet. Oh my god, guys. We did it. Holy smite balls. Whew. This was tough. This was tough. Uh, sadly, we'll have to probably leave uh, this trailer here. Not the big deal, but whatever. We're not hurting for cash right now. <laughs> wow, that was indeed an adventure. Um, given previous knowledge, we will not be taking that trailer through this muck. No, thank you, sir. Uh... We'll stick to the well-traveled roads for this. Wow, that was tense. That was tense. That was tense. Um, yeah, we'll uh, finish this up. It should be relatively quick. Uh, finish this up um, and deliver the the bricks here and we're gonna be saving it here and gonna be probably continuing it next time uh, from the same spot even if we do have a refuel point here now Those three liters, I mean, if we literally had, I don't know, another 100 meters to go, I'm not really certain we could, could have uh, uh, had that. 
Again, I do wonder if the cars have emergency tanks. Maybe, I don't know, another 5 liters, 10 liters or something. In case you stupidly ran out of fuel in the middle of nowhere. But I'm not really betting it. I understand simulation, but I don't think this is simulated that much. Whew. That's where my toes were getting curled there at the end. That was probably the, the tightest situation I have to I had to manage, but it definitely ranks up there. Also, one of the most fun situations I've had in uh, SnowRunner up to this point. And this engine, man, for as strong as it is, it uses so much fuel, so much fuel. And yeah, the autonomous winch, for as much as it costed, that was a, a straight uh, good choice. Oh, oh, do we have a problem here? Oh, no, 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 please don't tell me we have a, a, a clipping problem. Ugh. We do have a clipping problem. Okay, let's see if we can solve this. Okay, there we go. Phew. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, let's still conserve fuel even though we are pretty okay. With this truck, I'm noticing that when I turn on the differential, uh, sorry, differential, the um, all-wheel drive, uh, it does switch the gearing because you know you have a whole different other uh, level of uh, grip and traction on the wheels when you go all-wheel drive. So I'm wondering whether that's a thing, like the traction on the wheel is actually controlling it. That would confirm my thing with uh, with the Fleet Star that. It does switch gearings differently with the new tires. Oh wow, this is... Oh yeah, this is another huge trailer that we... Like the one we just pulled. Okay, that's cool. That's... Okay, that's cool, 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 cool. But again, we should be super careful uh, not to tip it over. I mean, as we've seen. Yeah, we will not be going through this water waterlogged area for sure. Uh, let's go back the way we came. It was a bit muddy, but I'm hoping we can power through. But sadly, there's not that many trees there. That may suck. And for sure, there's no trees here either. So, trees here. Okay, let's uh, let's give this a shot. Did, why is my marker up there? Oh, because I... Can I just cancel this marker? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Uh, already, we are having issues. I mean, wow, this is... Is this heavier than what we were pulling earlier? Maybe. I'm not sure if the weight is per slot or actually dependent on the material I'm hauling. Kind of makes sense to be dependent on the material and not just a straight slot like one slot of cargo is 500 kilograms or something okay either way let's turn off all wheel drive when we don't need it we will have some muddy section ahead as we've previously discovered i said ahead not now <laughs> okay there we go wow that trailer digs deep 
Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Come on. Push through it, push through it. Okay, come on. Ugh, this terrain isn't much better. But we are charging along. And these little things, man, they mess it up so bad. I mean, uh,. When we got stuck earlier, that was on just some twigs under the trailer. Okay, let's try, let's be a bit cheeky, see if we can do this. Maybe this would be smarter. Save us from going through that horrible muck there and just head straight towards the paved route. Okay, so far so good. Let's turn off all wheel drive. Uh, let's hope we don't catch the trailer in this little bit of guardrail here. Wow, that was a hit. More than I kind of was expecting. Okay, can we force this through somehow? No, I don't think so. Oh, 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 let's not. Oh, this is. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. This is terrible. Oh, crap. This is bad. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that was... That's that for that tree. Tip this over, but we want to. There we go. Okay, let's stop that. Let's grip this to that. Oh, uh, I want to do something else. Yeah, okay, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. Whew. Again, this whole run has been turning to be more adventurous than I thought it would be. Um, v, let's do refuel uh, from the roof rack to the Chevrolet. Yes. Huh, that that's weird. It says fuel up 20 liters, right? I was at 30 something, 36, 76. Yeah, no, it actually fuels up up fuel, uh, full, but uh, to the full capacity of the small roof rack. But I think that's just messed up. Where I know if I. Press, 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 even a word. If I press F once, does that just fill it up uh, with 20 and that's it? And if I hold it down, it fills it up to full? Okay, possible. In any way, shape, or form, uh, this episode is turning on a bit long, but it's fine because it was very fun. And we will do the, um, the hill climbing part uh, in the next episode, probably. But let's see if we have any more issues getting this back. Oh, should just do all wheel drive, save us some time. Okay, there we go, burst it a bit. really fully sure in which situation would you rather use the small truck instead of the big truck to haul you know stuff like this not to just one single load but two loads or something and I actually wonder maybe the sideboard trailer Maybe the sideboard trailer uh, helps with uh, not uh, tipping over as easily, maybe. But to be honest, that was pretty extreme when that happened. And I'm, wow, so I'm still shocked that that actually worked. I was already dreading coming back with a crane or something and making a proper rescue operation of it. I 
second, I don't really mind. I'm, I'm kind of glad we haven't had to do any cheesy uh, recovery to this point. Not that I remember anyway. Uh, we've been relatively fine just doing it with one truck, or at the very least, you know, quitting fully and coming at it with a different uh, truck or angle. But I'm really grateful that we've had such a good run, more or less like a clean, honest run of it. Yeah, guys, we're, we're home safe here. Back to the factory. Let's uh, drop these off. Cargo management. Pipe dream. Two out of two. Now the factory is online, we can focus on getting local drilling operations up and running again. I'm sure we could use your help with that too, so keep your ears open. Awesome. Oh. Uh, crap. <laughs> Less awesome is the fact that we have... Uh, even the fact that we've completed this, the oil tanker went away. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And we're actually... Almost out of fuel here. Okay, let's uh, drop the cargo, the trailer. Actually, if I do remove cargo, what does that even do? Oh, yeah, it removes the cargo from the top of the truck or something? I don't know. It would if we had anything there, I guess. Anyways, let's the trailer. Uh, I'm going to probably be sorting these out in between episodes. But I think we next time we'll be just starting from here and doing the... Um, local entertainment. I think we have enough uh, fuel to do, do this little fun little jaunt. But again, we will see. Um, again, if you like this episode, for sure I loved uh, playing it. Uh, please do a like and subscribe on YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, if you really liked it, you can leave a comment down below. Uh, and you know what? This was Cosmo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.